Hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 now, now we're going to cut that out. <laughs> Woo! Boom! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Make America healthy again. Guys, guys, I'm sitting here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging at all. But I have it too damn good. Yeah, I travel a lot. But even when I travel, I, I, I go in Ubers, right? Like I sit in a car, somebody else drives, and I get out of the car and where I want to be, right? I fly on planes. Yeah, I fly coach most of the time, but I'm flying. I'm sitting. I'm not actually flapping my wings, and I'm not self-propelling the plane. I'm sitting back, and I'm literally watching the internet on an airplane, eating an outright bar. It's pretty freaking awesome, right? And then I come to my house when I'm done. Oh, and then all of a sudden I'm still traveling. I go to the hotel. And it's a beautiful hotel, usually a Hampton Inn. Um, I like those a lot. I usually stay at Hilton. I'm a Hilton. I'm a diamond member, diamond member, just so you know. And I'll sit down, beautiful couch or bed, oh, kick back, free coffee in the lobby. I'm drinking it. I, I, I get some food on the way back. I order Chipotle to the room, I'm eating my food. I haven't really done much. I haven't killed a woolly mammoth. I haven't been chased by a pterodactyl. No, no, I'm just kind of chilling, right? <clears throat> and then, um, I go to the bathroom and I brush my teeth. I take a shit, take a shower and I go to bed. And then I get up and imagine if I didn't train, I would have a life of luxury. So my body would never really have any adversity or suffering. It would not have anything that would make us uncomfortable, that would give us discomfort. Because even the poorest of poors, Assuming you're not homeless, that's got to suck. Assuming you're in the lower class, but you have a house, you have electricity. I'm putting you a lower middle class, right? I think that's what? That's like 45,000 a year, 50,000 a year, if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, it depends where you live. In Brentwood, yep, yep, you, you wouldn't have anything. Um, but like in some areas in this, let's say you go out past, um, um, what is the name of that place? Um, Monteagle up there. Yep, you'll, you'll live fine. So even the poor people in this country have it way better than in the 1900s, the early 1900s. Then you go back even further and oh my goodness, they were hunting and gathering and foraging and having to kill their own. You go to some parts of Africa or even other countries, South America, they're still doing that. They live in tribes, they hunt their food. The women go get water at the creek and with the kids and bring it back. And our bodies are designed for adversity. They're designed to handle discomfort. They're designed to handle these things and we're just not doing it. So our bodies have become complacent and lazy. And what's that old saying? If you don't use it, you lose it. The Iroy Bar was created for my kids. My kids need a snack to eat during soccer tournaments. And also I wanted a bar for myself to eat pre-workout, post-workout, and also throughout the day. You want your Outright Bars right now. That's why we have a partnership going with The Vitamin Shop to make sure that we're in all 750 plus locations, providing the best price, the best service, the best people to give you the Outright Bar when and where you need it. So the other day I'm listening to a podcast while I'm driving about why cold submersion or cold water submersion, let's say the, the, the cold tubs or the ice baths, right? How they're necessary because we don't get that innate primal human need for adversity and we become weak. And that's why we're getting sick and we're dying because our bodies are just like, huh, I don't got to do shit. I don't need to do anything. Right. And so we're basically a weak species. So that's why we need to present our body with adversity. We need to present our body with discomfort. And that's why weight training and running and exercising hard to a level of discomfort and things like cold plunges or heat, like the sauna, the reason they're showing, if you look at all the data, obviously the cold plunge is still pretty new. There's not that much data on its longevity effects. If you look at the Finnish studies on sauna, you look at a, what is it? A 40% decrease in mortality. That's all risk mortality. It's you're 40% less likely to die at all times. If you do the sauna, I believe it was the equivalent of four days a week for, I think it was like 10 to 30 minutes. Don't quote me on that. 
And then you look at all the benefits of exercise, all these things that stimulates and, and oh my goodness, then you look at cardiovascular and your heart and its ability to improve your heart health, which people wouldn't have to worry about if they were out running because our bodies are designed to have that. So our body's not having it. Your heart's like, fuck it, I'm taking the day off. And then you die. I know that's very simple. And it's probably scientifically inaccurate, but you get my drift. Okay, so now we look at everything around us. We look at the fact that people don't even, dude, the other day I was at my warehouse in Ohio and I, I like to do nice things when I'm there because I love, I love my colleagues over there. So I go to Dunkin' Donuts to pick up donuts for everybody because people like donuts. It's a human fact. It's a fact of nature that humans like donuts. So like I go up and there's a line out the door like i'm talking 20 30 cars blocking traffic and i looked the parking lot was empty so i swooped right in walked into dunkin donuts picked up my donuts walked out and they'd only gone through like two cars <laughs> so <laughs> people are too lazy they'd rather spend 30 minutes in line at dunkin donuts First of all, they're eating donuts. We're not going to go there, but let's assume they were getting an egg white sandwich. Okay. They'd rather spend two, a half an hour in line than get off their ass, get out of their car and save 28 minutes by getting that donut. The human body and human mind needs adversity. It needs challenge. That's why you need to do these mental games. You need to do things like chess. You need to do these mental challenging things. You need to do hard things. Did you know? That if you're, I think it's the, if you retire at the age of 55 instead of 65, that your chance of getting dementia or any kind of mental, um, <laughs> mental illness as you get older or mental, um, incapacitation, mental degradation, whatever it is, your, your brain starts to go to shit, right? When you stop working. So I'm sending out a newsletter multiple times a week or even every day. It's going to have deals. It's going to have articles. It's going to have exclusive stuff for me. The algorithm has not been good to me on YouTube, on Instagram. I don't know why. Maybe it's something I said. But anyway, go to markglobal.com. It pops up. Put your email in there. That's all you have to do. You get all that stuff for free. It's amazing. When you retire early, your chance of getting these old person diseases go up. If you don't use it, you lose it. I remember I had the fortune of being around Jack LaLanne when I worked at Weeder in the late 2000s before he passed away, in the early 2000s before he passed away. And this dude was like in his 80s. And he literally swam to Alcatraz pulling a boat by his teeth with a rope, doing that. Dude was old as hell. He died healthy and happy. So even though he died, he died living his best life. So I'd rather live 80 solid years kicking ass just with a full erection for 80 fucking years, then live 90 years pharmaceutically induced in a coma, not getting it done. What is the secret to that? Look, man, I'm not making any medical claims. I'm just going by what I've seen. If you're active, if you exercise, like weight training, like walking, like running, like anything, and if you stay within a healthy, non-fat weight, if you unfat yourself, not only are you likely to live longer, you're likely to live better. But you have to challenge yourself. You have to exercise and you have to challenge yourself. What I want you to do a couple times a week, you get up, you're looking forward to that warm shower. Like nothing's better than waking up, you took a pee, maybe brush your teeth, and I sweat in my sleep and I'm like, man, I need to take a shower. Four out of five times, I will go in that cold shower and hit you go, <gasps> And then your penis just goes and then your balls go, they just shrink right up. I'll do it four out of five times. This morning, I pussied out. This morning, I woke up and I was already cold because I sweat in my sleep. So I'm cold because the, the air conditioning is like at 67. It's hitting my sweat. So I'm freezing and I, I'm getting, I'm, I'm standing there in the shower. I have a walk-in shower. Um, it's called a, uh, I think I call it a drive through shower. It's like, it goes, whatever. It's, it's, it's a cool shower. So like, so I'm like, I'm standing there and I'm doing, I'm like, fuck it. I can't do it. I, did, I took a, I took a warm shower. Yeah. Uh, Friday through, through Sunday, I took cold showers. So force yourself two out of five, seven times, take a cold shower, 
just to experience the suck. No, not that kind of suck, guys. And then I want you to weight train, but I want you to go hard. I want you to go beyond that repetition that, that sucks. I want you to do a shitty repetition. I want you to push it harder where you're like, huh, oh, man, that hurts. And you're shaking like, like you're this, like you're trying to try to push down, but your muscle failed. You're like, I want you to do that. I want you to, I want you to go in a sauna. And if you're hot and tired and feel like shit, and of course, be safe, drink water, hydrate and everything. Why don't you go for 11 minutes instead of 10 minutes? We need discomfort, man. We need to live that. So that's my advice. So I've been trying to make myself uncomfortable a lot lately. And I'll tell you what, my days are better. Take it for what it's worth. Okay, guys. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go get comfortable and work in my office. All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Mark Lobliner. Um, I'm from TigerFitness.com. TigerFitness.com. We sell awesome things like Hydroglyph from Ambrosia. Um, this is an amazing fasting, but you know, I'm fast. It's also an intra workout product. If you don't know much about me, if you look it up, I, um, I pioneered and I popularized the intra workout category back in 2004. I'm that old. I know you say he looks young. I'm saying, Hey, that's all HGH brother. Um, but anyway, guys, please, um, if you do buy sport nutrition supplements, if you do need cool shorts, like look at these shorts, these are the exact same quality as Lululemon tiger fitness shorts, except ours are only 25 bucks tigerfitness.com if you search um, men's running shorts or just running shorts they'll come up anyway guys thanks for watching um yeah please please be uncomfortable shop with us and that'll make you comfortable that's not a game I used to have to go through dozens of bottles of vitamins, of supplements, just to get what I need. Look, I'm busy. I'm running multiple businesses. I'm coaching. I'm a professional bodybuilder, getting ready for my first pro show. I don't have time to sit there and do all that. I gotta go. I'm on the go all the time. That is why I created MTS Nutrition Immortal. Here's how they look. This, all it takes, this replaces dozens of bottles of supplements. So let me tell you exactly what this has. It has probiotics, greens, liver detox, joint support, cardiovascular support, and the most complete multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement ever created. If you have a busy life or you simply want more time to do the things you love and be able to travel by just taking one simple little pack with you, Immortals for you.